Hi everyone, today I will be presenting the project that I did in graphics class. It's about generating terrain procedurally in real time on the GPU. So everything you see here has no manual work involved, it's all randomized. So I'll just briefly walk through the steps that I did to create this project. So first, let's just simplify things and look at a small portion of the terrain. In order to get the shape of the terrain, first I need some kind of 3D function. The function I use is called Perlin Noise, which is quite standard in computer graphics. Uh, in its simplest form, it looks something like this. It's random, but it's also smooth. The values above zero, which I illustrate in blue, is the ground. The values below zero, which I illustrate in white, is the air. And at the boundary, when the value is equal to zero, which is the red lines that you see here, that's where the terrain is. So if I show the terrain, you can see that the red line corresponds exactly to where the rock and the grass is. You can change the parameters of this function to get different amounts of detail. So, in order to convert this, uh, these function values to triangles that the GPU can render, as you can see here, I use an algorithm called marching cubes, which basically what it does is it goes through 256 different configurations of triangles for every voxels, for every 3D pixel. In order to simulate light, I use an approximation called ambient occlusion. The idea here is, in areas that are more hidden, in concave areas, there should be less light that gets to it. So for every point in the terrain, I send out random rays and I see how many of them hit something. And for points that hit a lot, where the rays hit a lot of things, I say that it is a darker area. Getting texture in a procedurally generated mesh is difficult because the topology of the shape is completely arbitrary. If, you don't, if you're not careful, you can get weird artifacts like the texture being stretched by a significant amount. So the technique I use is called triplanar texturing. I use the surface normal of the triangles, that is the direction in which the triangles point, and that tells me which texture I should be applying. From the top, I use the first texture shown in green, from one side, I use a blue texture, and from the other side, I use a red texture. And there's a transition where they blend together smoothly. So that gives me the following result. On the sides, I use the same rock texture, while on the top, I use the grass texture. And the result is uh, works very well. Water is done using a very simple technique, which is to render the geometry twice, once normally, once reflected in the water. I must use a stencil to make sure that the reflection doesn't show outside of the water. So let's go back and see all the blocks together at once. Using first person mode, I can navigate through the terrain and new blocks of terrain will generate as I move along. As you can see, it just keeps generating. New terrain fades in as uh, the GPU finishes processing them. I can actually move as far as I want. Because this is randomly generated, there's no limit to where I can go, and every bit of terrain will look different because it is random. In order to get as much terrain on the screen at once, I must be careful about how much detail I use. In particular, blocks that are further away can be rendered with less detail. I try to make this process very smooth, so you might not be able to see that certain blocks have lower detail. But if I enable this visualization, the blue blocks are the highest detail blocks. The green ones are medium details, and the red ones are the largest ones that have 
four times less detail than the blue blocks. And that gives the result shown here. There are a lot of parameters that I can adjust to get different amount of details in my terrain. For example, I can make the terrain a little bit more rough. And there's smaller pieces sticking out here and there. I can do all kinds of things like change the texture. That is what my project was about, generating complex terrain on the GPU.